thanks to all the help of all of you. We're marshalling with your help, everyone's help. We're marshalling every federal resource. We've gotten vaccines to nearly 40,000 pharmacies and over 700 community health centers where the poorest of the poor can be reached. We're setting up community vaccination sites, developing mobile units to get the hard to reach communities. Today, 90% of Americans now live within five miles of a vaccination site. Everyone over the age of 16, everyone is now eligible to get vaccinated right now, right away. Go get vaccinated, America. Go and get the vaccination. They're available. They're eligible now. When I was sworn in on January 20th, less than 1% of the seniors in America were fully vaccinated against COVID-19. 100 days later, 70% of seniors in America, over 65, are protected, fully protected. Senior deaths from COVID-19 are down 80% since January, down 80% because of all of you. And more than half of all the adults in America have gotten at least one shot. A mass vaccination center in Glendale, Arizona, I asked the nurse, I said, what's it like? She looked at me and she said, it's like every shot is giving a dose of hope. Is her phrase, a dose of hope. A dose of hope for an educator in Florida who has a child suffering from an autoimmune disease. Wrote to me, said she's worried and she was worried about bringing the virus home. She said she then got vaccinated at a, at a large site in her car. She said she sat in her car when she got vaccinated and just cried cried out of joy and cried out of relief. Parents see the smiles on their kids' faces for those who are able to go back to school because the teachers and school bus drivers and cafeteria workers have been vaccinated. Grandparents hugging their children and grandchildren instead of pressing hands against the window to say goodbye. It means everything. Those things mean everything. You know, there's still, you all know it, you know it better than any group of Americans, there's still more work to do to beat this virus. We can't let our guard down. But tonight, I can say, to, because of you, the American people, our progress these past 100 days against one of the worst pandemics in history has been one of the greatest logistical achievements logistical achievements this country's ever seen. What else have we done in those first 100 days? We kept our commitment, Democrats and Republicans, of sending $1,400 rescue checks to 85% of American households. We already sent more than 160 million checks out the door. It's making a difference. You don't know when you go home. For many people, it's making all the difference in the world. A single mom in Texas who wrote me, she said she couldn't work. But she said the relief check put food on the table and saved her and her son from eviction from their apartment. A grandmother in Virginia who told me she immediately took her granddaughter to the eye doctor. Something she said she put off for months because she didn't have the money. One of the defining images, at least from my perspective in this crisis, has been cars lined up. Cars lined up for miles. And not, not people just barely ever start those cars. Nice cars. Lined up for miles. Waiting for a box of food to be put in their trunk. I don't know about you, but I didn't ever think I'd see that in America. And all of this is through no fault of their own. No fault of their own, these people are in this position. That's why the rescue plan is delivering food and nutrition assistance to millions of Americans facing hunger. 
and hunger is down sharply already. We're also providing rental assistance. You all know this, but the American people, I want to make sure they understand. Keeping people from being evicted from their homes. Providing loans to small businesses that reopen and keep their employees on the job. During these 100 days, an additional 800,000 Americans enrolled in the Affordable Care Act when I established a special sign-up period to do that. 800,000 in that period. We're making one of the largest one-time ever investments, ever, in improving health care for veterans. Critical investments to address the opioid crisis. And maybe most importantly, thanks to the American Rescue Plan, we're on track to cut child poverty in America in half this year.